Picture this, a prison that was once considered inescapable, yet three inmates may have done exactly that. Welcome to the story of Alcatraz. Nestled in the cold, choppy waters of San Francisco Bay, Alcatraz has a reputation that precedes itself, a maximum security fortress designed to contain the irredeemable. Yet, the tantalizing mystery of the three inmates who may have outsmarted its confines still echoes through its crumbling walls. But before we delve into that, let's go back to the origins of Alcatraz. Alcatraz didn't start as a prison, in fact, it was initially a military fort. This rocky island in the San Francisco Bay was first fortified in the 1850s during the California Gold Rush. Its strategic location made it the perfect site to protect the booming city from naval attacks. By the late 1800s the fort had transitioned into a military prison. Soldiers found guilty of crimes like desertion and theft were sent here to serve their time. The isolated location, surrounded by cold, treacherous waters, made it an ideal place to keep individuals who posed a risk to military order. Fast forward to 1934, and Alcatraz underwent yet another transformation, this time into a federal prison. It was designed to hold the worst of the worst, criminals who were too dangerous or disruptive for other facilities. The federal prison era of Alcatraz is what most people know about, but there's much more to its story. The Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary is a name that evokes both fear and intrigue. This notorious prison, often referred to as The Rock, was home to some of America's most infamous criminals during its 29 years of operation from 1934 to 1963. One of the most well-known inmates was none other than Al Capone, the notorious gangster from Chicago. Despite his reputation on the outside within the walls of Alcatraz, Capone was just another prisoner, unable to flex his influence or power. Then there was Robert Stroud, also known as the Birdman of Alcatraz. Stroud was a unique character, whose fascination with birds led him to write a respected book on bird diseases all while serving his sentence. Life in Alcatraz was tough and the rules were strict. Inmates were subjected to a rigorous routine, and any deviation was met with severe punishment. The living conditions were harsh, with prisoners confined to small cells and the cold, biting winds of the San Francisco Bay adding to the misery. But it was this very location, surrounded by the chilling waters, that made Alcatraz seemingly escape-proof. Yet, this didn't stop inmates from trying. The most famous escape attempt took place in 1962 by Frank Morris and the Anglin brothers John and Clarence. They spent months chipping away at the vent openings in their cells, using crude tools fashioned from spoons and discarded materials. On the night of June 11th, they crawled through the holes, climbed to the roof, and eventually made it to the shore where they launched a makeshift raft into the frigid waters. Their bodies were never found, sparking one of the greatest prison escape mysteries of all time. The official report concluded that they drowned, but rumors and speculation have kept the story alive, suggesting they might have survived. So, did these three men actually manage to escape the inescapable Alcatraz? It remains one of history's most tantalizing questions. The daring 1962 escape still baffles experts today. It was the night of June 11th when three inmates, Frank Morris and the Anglin brothers, vanished from their cells. Their daring plot involved months of chiseling away at the vent openings in their cells with spoons, creating an opening just large enough to squirm through. They replaced the vent grates with replicas made of cardboard and paint, keeping their escape plans hidden from the guards. After crawling through a network of utility corridors, they climbed up a ventilation shaft to the roof and disappeared into the chilling San Francisco Bay on a raft made of raincoats. Their fate remains a mystery, as no conclusive evidence has ever been found to prove whether they survived the perilous journey or perished in the icy waters. A year later in 1963, Alcatraz was closed, deemed too expensive to operate, but the rock wasn't abandoned for long. In 1969 it became the site of a significant Native American protest. For 19 months activists occupied Alcatraz to demand recognition of their rights and treaties. Their occupation ended in 1971 but it left a lasting impact on federal Indian policy. Today, Alcatraz is a popular tourist destination, attracting over a million visitors each year with its storied past and stunning views. From a military fort, a notorious prison, to a symbol of Native American protest and now a heritage site, Alcatraz continues to fascinate and intrigue. The story of Alcatraz is a testament to the multifaceted and ever-evolving nature of history itself. 